Virgo, this is your May 2019 forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. Now, all MP4s are $40 at the moment, and your whole year forecast for all 12 signs is $20. So do like, share, and subscribe. Virgo, it looks like there has been a, a recent boost to do with our career, uh, or an extra bonus to come from the money received from others. And on the back of that, you're looking at your future to do with your own personal worth. What I earn, what I own, what I owe, and the value that's important to me on my day-to-day -day lifestyle. What do I need to be able to afford the luxury or the lifestyle that I want? And this is my uh, personal finances versus what I can receive from others. Now, some of you are going to need to ask to be able to get that. Now, for example, if this is about your boss, then you need to ask for the job and they say, oh, well, you need to be able to do this before you can get that. So there might be some education, there might be a license, there might be a permit, there might be a first step to be able to get that personal finance that you want. For some of you, that is um, my finances that I get from other people that I rely on. Now I've got to look at my budget because there has been a, a discrepancy there, there's been a change there. So now I have to look at my budget and how I pay things, what I have coming in, what I have going out. For others, this is, I have the, um, a deadly serious agreement. There's a windfall. It's fallen into my lap. My uh, stocks and my investments have come in, a nice tidy sum. Um, my uh, rebate's been good. My tax uh, uh, refund has been good. Um, this is about mortgages. You've got that as well. Anything to do with deadly serious agreements. Maybe your partner's been given a bonus. Maybe your partner's been given more money from their boss or you. So it's either you getting this or your partner's getting that and you're celebrating because you're in your uh, study, career and finances we do have the uh, Ten of Cups. Now this is, you know, there has been difficulty with those finances. Maybe you were hanging in there to get that uh, money. Maybe you've been working, working, working and whatever this is to do with your career. Maybe you don't earn a huge amount of money. Uh, this is something that you do for love and because you've worked and worked and worked, now you're getting money. Now you've got that sponsorship. You know, now you're getting paid to do what you love to do. Maybe that's for some of you. For others, this is, I wanted to get into university and luckily I've got this spot. There's something to do with our study that we wanted to do or that there was difficulty there and I had to work hard and now I've got that positive ending to do with that as well. Now there is an announcement around the uh, family, whether there is a pregnancy or there is a divorce or a marriage. For a small select few of you, there might be a sudden um, a loss, a sudden separation, a sudden departure um, and this is um, this this uh, eighth house is going on um, into our faith so there's some sort of faith involved here we've got to keep the faith we've got to uh, keep strong together um, we've got to work together as a team also the faith can come into uh, all right so I had the faith in myself while I was doing what I wanted to do now I've made it big now I'm getting money and now someone supports me someone sponsors me so I'm I had that faith and I'm really proud of myself for doing that there's that psychological shift um, but for others in that area it might also be right well I've reached that goal and now for me to reach that next goal I've now got all the support I've got this wonderful um, response this this win this happy uh, joy to do with this and now I need to train hard I need to educate I need to get on to my next step to be able to get more at home we have the lovers card now if we're talking about asking the bank for uh, money our boss for money our family for money um, whatever we're applying for the answer is yes and this is joyful after a difficult time that will benefit the whole group. This card here is the uh, lovers card now this card here is about um, this card here is about luxury. It's also about our personal finances. So we are looking all month at what our personal finances are, our salary, what we earn, what we own, what we debt, um, all of that. We're looking at that all month. And the lover's card says that there's luxury there, there's abundance there. We've talked to someone and there's some good um, news there. But this is also be careful with your spending. You might be celebrating or overindulging, overindulging in food, overindulging in drugs, overindulging in spending. You know, this card here is about luxury. It's about overdoing it. It's about um, it's about funds as well. So uh, our value system to do with it, this is a big boost for our uh, internal self. The health is the uh, king of swords. This is our uh, mental comeback. We've got a mental comeback, and this has come in 
from that new energy. You know, things were really difficult. Now we've got faith in ourselves. Now we're taking action. If there has been some sort of injury or some sort of health issue, we've been letting it drag because we needed to be ready for whatever it was that we've been putting our, all our energy in. This card says that there is, uh, we're returning to that thought. We're returning to getting this back into order. For some of you, this is about back pain. This is about body pain. This is about pins, needles. Um, and there is a reconciliation there. There is going to be a return to our energy. Um, that's also another thing to do with the um, eighth and ninth house, which is about rebirth. It's about transforming. It's about our karma and coming into ourselves. So whatever is the verses this month, in May, there is going to be a sudden development. There is going to be change there. And it is looking at my resources versus resources I get from others and how that interplays. There is going to have to be faith or more education or another step to be able to expand, to be able to get there. So if you're expanding your business, expanding your CV, expanding your repertoire, what you know, if this is I'm asking for funds for, I need to ask for funds, but I have a difficulty asking for it. So maybe you have to now be no longer dependent on others. Or maybe you have it, somebody else is dependent on you. This is a major development card. Now, with our love, um, we do have the uh, Three of Swords. Now, the Lovers card is karma, and it is soulmates, and it is the love, 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 you know, really passionate time, uh, almost an obsession and, and unable to leave each other's company. Uh, you complete me. Now, this card here says we are worried. Because I haven't heard from them. This is, I have grief here. There's separation. I've been dumped. Um, there's been a loss here. I'm worried about, uh, I found out that there's another person in, in this relationship. I'm worried that it's over. There's some sort of grief, cut, heartache to do with a loved one. Maybe you're just missing them. Maybe they've gone away and you're, and you're missing them now. I asked the cards what was next and we got another three card. Maybe this is something to do with communication. Someone didn't tell you, you didn't tell them. Maybe it's the elephant in the room. We haven't discussed something and it's causing a divide. You know, this is causing a divide where it doesn't need to be there. This card here says we, you know, someone is interfering. There is a grief or a loss here. Uh, again, we've got three. This is practical, tangible help, practical, tangible even materialistic things as well. Maybe we need to put money into this. Uh, maybe we need to, both of these are grief, both of these are someone else in the uh, in the picture. Uh, this could be a uh, family member during the pot or infidelity. And this is saying, for us, this is our domestic life as well. You know, there is a loss there, there is grief there, there is more work needed. You're drawing virtue messages from the angels, Virgo is... Now, some of you are uh, Virgos with that difficulty there. What what this difficulty is? Maybe it's a, a breakup, makeup scenario where we have that commitment. Maybe um, maybe that's where this issue is. But there could also be some announcements that our, our partner and I. Um, are getting engaged, our partner and I are having a baby, our partner and I are getting divorced, maybe that's where the, maybe this is the divorce, maybe we've found that uh, there is a divorce. Uh, Angel says that you've asked um, for help and that you have something that you can share, maybe it's your experience that you're able to help somebody else with. Isaiah says that whatever you're working on now is going to bear fruit and for others, this is that pregnancy I was talking about before. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.